welcome to The Colorado Whiskey Guy, episode one, my first review video. I'm really excited to try this. Today I'm gonna to review Axe in the Oak Colorado Mountain Bourbon. And I'm really excited. I've tried this um, before, but I don't recall if I liked it or not. Uh, we're gonna find out together. It's 46% ABV, uh, 92 proof, aged three years. And produced right here in Colorado Springs. And I like that, it's kind of nice. Nice caramel color to it, I like it. Now, when I do these uh, tastings and these um, nosings, now, no, I'm not a som, I'm not a sommelier. I don't don't know all the ins and outs of this or the, you know, mm, smells like rose petals and yes, yes, I'm, uh, you know, I'm in a garden when I smell this and oh, I'm laying out there on a chair and oh, it, yes, it takes me back. No, I'm going to tell you what I smell, which, you know, I don't have the nose yet, but I'm really excited to you know, get that uh, proficient with that and learn that. So this, it's a good smell. It's a nice bourbon smell. It's got that vanilla. That caramel to it. Now what I'm doing, I'm, if you, when you know something and I can go into it later, I open my mouth a little bit, it helps things circulate through and it helps uh, detect some of those scents a little bit better. Yeah, it's a nice vanilla, caramel, kind of a slightly vegetable sort of note, like a, something plant, I'm not, can't put my finger on it. I like that. You know, that's, uh, I've heard that's kind of ind indicative of a, I've heard that means it's a, a high rye whiskey. Now, I didn't already know that. I didn't look it up. It is a high rye whiskey. What that means, now all bourbons are at least 51% corn. Uh, they don't say exactly how much corn's in this bourbon, but they say that it is 21% uh, rye. So that means it is a high rye whiskey. Other whiskeys use wheat more than want rye, so they're known as a wheated bourbon. But this one smells really good. Let's try it. I like that. It's kind of a, a little bit of that burn in there, but not bad. Mm -hmm. uh, peppery, peppery on the back end. Uh, not in a spicy way, but it lets you know it's there. It's more like a, like a pepper kind of note. Very, very sweet, very vanilla, caramel. It's very good. I can see why this does good. This, they have, they have over, uh, I think five or six different products and I'm excited to try all of them and I intend to. So they have a rye, they have a few different finished bourbons, but we can go through all that. Mm. That's good. I like that. I really like that. So let me tell you what I intend to do with this channel. and. In addition to just tasting different whiskeys and bourbons and maybe helping you uh, figure out if you want to try something but what I really want is you know whiskey everybody knows bourbon as being you know from Kentucky and scotch is from Scotland but nobody really knows exactly how much whiskey is distilled here in Colorado and Colorado really doesn't get its recognition so I feel that's what I want to do. I want to convey that and show off all the different distilleries there are in Colorado and show off their different products they have. And a lot of them have great products and they do everything from bourbon or uh, single malt, which is like scotch, to uh, rye whiskey, to flavored whiskeys. Now, I'm not, a, not afraid to try a flavored whiskey, uh, you know, like a peach whiskey or even a, Cinnamon whiskey, now I know what you're thinking, Fireball, but this is not Fireball, it's Colorado made, so very similar, but I intend to try it, it's gonna be real excited. And I like to show off all these different distilleries and what they have to do, what they can do. And in the future, I would like to take you and show you some different distilleries through distillery tours. And if this channel goes well, do distiller interviews. And I'm really, 
excited and pumped and be able to do that. And so with this, like with this distillery, I really like the story about it. With Colorado Mount, with uh, Axe and the Oak, it's a group of friends and they decided around a campfire that why can't they make their own whiskey and they decided they were going to. And I, in my opinion, it's a very good whiskey. So, you know, if you feel like you want to try it, go for it. You can find it anywhere here in the Springs. But this, hope you like my first review video. Please feel free to like, comment, and please subscribe so that way you don't miss my next video. Really, thank you very much. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Cheers.